Hi, welcome. My name is Marcos Rafael, and I will be teaching you today how to use visualization software at Avogadro. Coupled with a powerful quantum chemistry software package called Orca. In order to calculate the structures, molecular orbitals, and associated energies of several compounds with the aim of understanding energy requirements of any reaction. So the first step is to start by opening Avogadro. Here, just look around, it's very simple and you can see. So find the pen icon on the top left. You can choose any atom that you'd like. So we'll start off by making CO2 as an example. So choose carbon, click any spot on the black space. Now we need an oxygen, so you have to click the carbon center and drag it out to create a bond. Another CO2. Next, the CO has a double bond, so just click the bond to create a double bond. And we are done. The next step is to optimize the structure because it's not accurate. So you head to extensions, optimize geometry, click select, and your molecule should be an accurate CO2 molecule. Now if you make a mistake, make an extra one, just go click the black pen, select space, and can simply click delete. So as noted, Avogadro is an intuitive visualization software that allows you to draw, optimize, and manipulate any molecule that you like. Before we generate an input file for Orca, we will need to generate a folder on the desktop entitled Orca Files, such as this one. Now generate a folder in the Orca files entitled CO2 Optimization. It is critical for each new job you run that you create a new folder to store your files. If an output file is present in the folder that you are trying to run your job from, you will get a cannot open input file error when you run Orca. Now we need to generate an input file for Orca. To do this, select Extensions from the top menu and then select Orca and then select generate input file in your Orca input file parameter window will appear with the basic and advanced function tab. Stay on the basic tab. So the basis of the software is to solve for the Schrodinger equation. And it makes approximations of the equation. Orca ut utilizes a series of different approximations such as the density functional theory as seen DTF to obtain reasonable solutions to the equation for many electron problems. So the first step is to under the calculation drop down menu select geometry optimization. For method drop down menu select DTF. Leave the charge as zero, the format as Cartesian, the basis set as DF2 as VP and multiplicity as one. Next, you will want to produce a pictorial representation of the molecular orbitals. So we will need to input that command into the command lines in the lower left box of ORCA input parameter window to ensure this happens upon completion of the calculation. Part of the steps was to remove the negative SBP as it is not required according to the ORCA input library, which contains all the print commands you will need. But as here, I will show you. One very key important point to make is to make sure that everything is written as is, capitalization, and every little thing must be exactly the same or it will not work, it will not run. So once you have copied and pasted the five line set of commands from the Orca input library or simply manually inputted them, such as I have right here. So you need to add the normal print, the percent output, print P basis two, print P MOs one and end. Once it's that, create generate and save it accordingly. 
into the specific folder you have created for that CO2 molecule. Next, close everything. Locate your command prompt on your computer, which is located in Applications under Utilities. Orca is a command prompt driven software, so here it's called Terminal in MacBook. In the program menu, simply type CD. Using your C prompt skills, navigate your CO2 folder you created. You can simply copy and paste the folder in which the file is in and paste it in the command. Type the following series of commands into the C prompt. So Orca, CO2 input space greater than CO2 output, and press enter. Now your CO2 optimization folder, where your CO2 file resides. Now enter a series of commands to tell Orca to take that input file and run the geometry optimization of the CO2 molecule. Calculate the MOs and associated energies, and generate an output file. Once calculations are done, the output file will be up here, and once you open it, you will get something like this. Next, you can generate the orbitals by simply going into display settings, surfaces, and choosing the color that you may like to visually represent the orbitals as followed. So here I chose blue and red. Simply just close it to save and so forth. You're able to generate MO orbitals. I hope you have learned how to do use Avogadro today.